Yo guys, what's up? In this video, I will be showing you some tips and tricks that I found with Ares. So Ares is really like if you use him strategically, he's he could be a really really good hero. So I'll show you him in the altar uh, in the hero's altar before we uh, start up some matches with him. So I got him up to level 80. I got him about three to four days ago when this video was made, and um, I got him to level 80 within that time. It's just like he just goes ham like I, I win literally every single battle I'll pay um he does make so much damage at level 80 80 out of 100 actually he does uh 2500 damage and 1600 health I mean 16,000 health sorry and um I'd even I'd never inscribed him or anything so I'm gonna go buy some magic uh magic quick so I like using the arrows and the hero, hero guardian angel Okay, so I'll be using that, and then let's just get started. So I, I usually just take on like pretty much the first piece I see. Um, I will be attacking from. Hmm. I think I'm gonna attack from this side. So I'm gonna kill off these uh, troops first, because I don't want them coming back and fuck with me later. Uh, I'm gonna cook the druid or the druid, whatever. So um, he is ready to go next because he's usually what I, who, uh, who I spawn in next to support my um, Ares so he doesn't you know, get hurt too much. Then I just let my Ares run around because he, as you guys can see, whenever he gets his proc up, he actually kills the uh, enemy heroes on the map. So right before he gets close, he's gonna probably going to kill them. Actually, he killed other people. So right here, I'm going to... actually no. Yeah, right here I'm gonna drop in my Drew because he's getting a bit close and uh, he's taking some damage. So he, just before he was seen, or like just before the enemy's gotten close, he propped and just made him disappear. Which I love about it, he's awesome. So as you guys can see, my Drew, uh, my Drew did actually scaring him up, doing a good job of doing that. And I will be dropping the rest of them, hopefully, never mind, they're not going in. Okay, I'm gonna let this. I'm gonna let this match pan on just a little bit and then I'm going to drop in my final hero because I want him to go to the middle. Actually no, I'm gonna drop him in the middle. And a couple of troops too to support us. Hopefully these guys can shoot over the wall. Cause um there's quite a bit. Looks like my my team wizards are got there on time, so it'll be fine. So it looks like my druid and my Ares are converging towards this group right here. So they should be able to support themselves pretty soon. Which they're doing like right now. As that's happening, I will um, drop my troops over here because it's, it's safe now. And uh, yeah, that's it. I will go play another battle. No, uh, nothing lost. So I can. Oh, what the hell? Okay. So I can just go straight, in, uh, straight back into it. Um, in this case. I will be spawning my, this hero right here is only level 24, I can take him down very easily with a level 70, 75 plus heroes. I'll be dropping my Ares and my Druid at the same time, because they, um, if my Ares were to try to solo him, he would die, so he needs to be healed a little bit, and also he just needs some more firepower. Um, so they'll be fine, my, by the time they get there, my Ares should be pretty decently healed up. I'm hoping that, okay, I guess that works too. I was sort of hoping that they go into this alleyway over here. But it's whatever. One thing I like is the walls. Um, I usually like my Ares hitting the walls because it lets him proc a little bit more. So now is about the time to uh, unleash my other heroes. And if shit goes down, I do have some spells ready. Not not the uh, arrow spell because that's not gonna really, that's not gonna help me against these uh, these troops, but my um, invincibility spell for about seven seconds so that that will help. Now I'm worrying about my heroes over here. Like, this guy's taking a lot of damage. Don't be this. Uh, I suck at this. No. God damn it. I hate. I I really hate the leg in this game. Like it just has a, a natural leg where. Um, sometimes they different like things won't take effect immediately. Like, I threw down that um, invincibility spell 
at a good time uh, before he died well before he died but it takes a like, three seconds or two to three seconds to actually start up which is a like, it's pretty crucial to be honest that is a uh, made for death right but uh whatever it doesn't really matter but it's definitely my fault with the ai right like the the heroes were like i mean the troops were close the heroes should have been, been attacking them but no they're attacking the wall right um so we're only five minutes in. I guess I'll do another raid, and uh, then I'll go show you some new plays. So we're right here. I'll be doing the same thing. Drew it in. Uh, the other guy. Actually, I'm gonna be playing with this. Uh, they're taking way too much damage. Actually, I, I I'm just gonna um, actually show you guys a couple replays. So. 9%, 10%, and 15%. These guys are not doing good at all. What the fuck? Did he just... Oh, sorry, I kicked that report. It looks like this is the only hero the guy drops. Maybe he tried to... No, he didn't save him again. I'm gonna fast forward four times. So I'm just gonna show you guys all my uh, defensive replays. And then I'm gonna head out. Okay, this one seems... This one be more... So my heroes are pretty much just like one shotting them. I want to see the proc. I want to see Ares proc go off. Okay, he he's gonna proc this guy. He should be able to if he gets in closer. But my freaking wall is just way too OP. Is he even gonna? Okay, he's gonna. Oh, he's gonna quit. Okay, let's play this last one. Oh, wait, is this the same one? Oh, no, it's not. Okay, so let's see what happens here. So my Ares is about to get his proc. Right when that invincibility goes down, he gets a proc. He damages them. Uh, this deals a lot of damage equally to all of them. That druid is their last hope. Getting heals off, but that's not enough. My Ares is actually 74 at that time. And um, I don't know what the hell this guy was doing. And yeah, so guys, remember? Use your always read your hero's um skills or advantages, right? So this guy, as you can see here, damages three heroes by one hundred uh, one hundred and sixty attack, reduces their energy by forty, and, dis and disables their skills by uh for two seconds. So knowing that, you should um a really good strategy like I just showed you, sp spawn them in first, spawn them away from uh like try to spawn them if you can, try to spawn them where a lot of um buildings are that don't attack them. And try to spawn them away from the enemy heroes, and if you can, try to spawn them away from the enemy troops. But at high levels, he can sell these troops and get lots of uh, um, energy off of them. But um, at the same time, it is a little bit more dangerous. So just spawn him away from the group, let him do his business. Then once he starts getting into the base, that's when you want to spawn in the rest of your, uh, the rest of your troops to support him and to act like a meat shield for him, right? By that time. Um, the hero should be taken down and you should also have um, my these magic potions just in case shit goes down you want the guardian angel and just in case um, like there's too many troops for, for him to handle you can use your arrows to uh, shoot them down so I really hope you guys found this video helpful and um, for all the you people with Ares out there I hope you guys um, use this to your advantage and it, it will help you progress through this game much faster. So I guess I'll just see you guys later. And um, by the way, watch out for... I, I have a Dra um, Val Dracula on another account. And I have an Immortep. Um, and I'm going to be gemming. I'm going to be getting some... Rolling some heroes. So hopefully I get something good. But um, I, and I'll find out get better... What's it called? Strategies for them, for, uh, for them too. So I hope you guys like this video. Leave a like, obviously, if you did. And uh, I guess I'll just see you guys in the next one. So, Sakon signing out, and peace.